Hello, everybody. Welcome into your Talking Pittsburgh headlines on this Thursday, February 2nd, 2023. Happy Groundhog's Day. We'll have uh, the info for you. If you haven't heard, uh, yeah, it's not uh, not pretty if you uh, don't like winter. Did I give it away? Maybe. But We'll tell you about it in just a second. Let's tell you about the uh, forecast because uh, it's going to be cold night again here in Wisconsin. National Weather Service Milwaukee Sullivan saying this. Gusty northwest winds to 20 miles per hour and temperatures falling into the single digits below zero to around minus 10 will cause wind chills to be in the negative 20 to negative 30 degree range tonight into Friday morning. A wind chill advisory is in effect at 11 p.m. tonight until 12 p.m. Friday. Bundle up and stay safe out there. It is going to be cold, very cold. Yeah, originally we were looking like maybe we were going to get a wind chill of negative 20. Now we're bumping up into negative 25, 26. It's going to be cold. No matter what, uh, you need to be prepared for this and be ready to go. Uh, make sure that uh, you bundle up. And as you can see from the graphic here, I go with that extreme cold bundle up, uh, three layers plus uh, if you're heading outside, especially if you have to work outside in these uh, conditions. It's going to be cold out there. So please be safe and check on loved ones. Make sure everything, uh, that everybody's okay, your neighbors, uh, and uh, be safe. So Jimmy the Groundhog in some prairie this morning saw a shadow. So did Phil. And uh, I guess there's one named George in Milwaukee I wasn't familiar with at the Milwaukee Zoo. He saw a shadow too. So it's there. Six more weeks of winter is set for this year. So thank you, Jimmy, Phil, and George or uh, whatever the one is in Milwaukee. He gave us more winter. I mean, we got nice sunshine, but yeah, six more weeks of winter. By the way, we live in Wisconsin. We're used to dealing with this. I think there's other parts of this, the country that are like, oh yeah, oh no, you know, where they kind of teeter totter. We can take it here in Wisconsin. All right, uh, from the Fitchburg Police Department, join the Fitchburg Police Department today. That's right, are you ready for your first career? Are you ready for your next career? We are ready for you to step forward to serve our community as a police officer. No police officer experience is required. What are we looking for? Talented communicators, problem solvers, critical thinkers, difference makers. If you are ready for the challenge, step forward today. Go to our website, fitchburgwi.gov, and you can sign up and apply to be a police officer with the Fitchburg Police Department. Community Meal will be happening this Saturday at the Badger Prairie Needs Network. Uh, plus, the Mending Ladies are back to mend your threads. The ladies are available from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. to sew on buttons, fix torn hems, repair seams, along with other mending tasks. Items are taken on a first serve, first basis, so make sure you get there early if you need some mending done, or else enjoy the community meal there at the Badger Perry Needs Network. All right, turning our attention to safe use of roundabouts that uh, help reduce crashes and improve traffic flow. Wisconsin Department of Transportation uh, sharing their State Patrol's February Law of the Month and saying the rules of roundabouts. Uh, roundabouts have become efficient uh, and a safe way for drivers to travel in Wisconsin. There are more than 550 roundabouts across the state that are designed to reduce crashes and improve traffic flow. Help us and help all users stay safe when traveling. Wisconsin State Patrol's Law of the Month uh, is uh, highlighting the rules of a roundabout and uh, that is uh, to keep you safe. Crash data proves roundabouts are safer in traditional intersection because they are fewer right angle uh, head-on and left turn collisions, which can be very dangerous for passengers. That's from the superintendent, Tim, of State Patrol. Roundabouts also keep traffic moving smoothly. Drivers must move slow and yield to vehicles to the left, but everyone keeps going so you get to places quicker and safer. So please use those roundabouts, yield to those uh, traffic in the left, and you want to learn more about uh, roundabout safety, you can check the DOT's website for that information. And finally, don't forget to order your monthly COVID tests. That's right. Each month you can order five, five new tests. Uh, say yes to COVID test website. Now accepting orders for the month's round of free tests through Wisconsin Department of Health Services. I said each order has five home rapid tests for you. Have a great day, everyone.